and welcome to my YouTube. I am so proud to tell you guys that you have been magnificent friends and to all the children out there I am not a ghost. Boo. There we go. Alright, back to my voice. You kids behave. Take care of your moms and dads. Okay? Halloween showing soon. Bye-bye. Okay, listen. little thing I like to say to the kids. And I want you to know that this is uh, magnificent. So, we have a YouTube and it's of the pointing lady. It is absolutely a long video and it shows lots of works of Leonardo da Vinci. You're gonna see that the Mona Lisa is a young lady herself. And then in my painting, it is the older Mona Lisa. So with that in mind, I wanna show you um, something that you need to really understand. Uh, there's so much writing in here as you can see there's there's these signs and these signs are everywhere uh, that tell Leonardo da Vinci is Leonardo da Vinci this is an M and this is an F and he keeps writing over and over again so when you you see these symbols I mean, they're, they're natural signs. So what he does is he keeps putting another F and he also changes it into an L and he spent, spells his name over and over again. So what I like you to do is if you, to pull a penny out of your pocket, excuse me, to pull a penny out of your pocket and to um, a pen and a piece of paper. And it's very easy. There's nothing that you need to worry about drawing, except if you can sign your name, you're going to follow what I have to say. And it's a fact. But in, in this sense, this is a L, a Santa Sock L. And then he has this hidden E, and then he has a hidden O, and he makes his N with a dash, like a half moon. Okay? And that's the way he is. So you got L E O N, and then he puts an A. This is an A. Okay, and then he has this R. These are my YouTubes. And then he has this D, and then he has the blue O. And he spells out his name Leonardo right across the top. Plain as anything, but backwards. And he doesn't always go backwards. Anybody says he always goes backwards. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I'm tired of arguing with certain people. But there's also another big sign. What was his lover's name? Okay, look at that. He put in the I, the I, the G for Giovanni. Okay, his lover's name's going to be written in here. Hidden in code. Well, you know it's there. Why would he put a G? Okay, so... It's another difficult deal. He also, on the lips, on the lips, there's his NWDF slash 4. NWDF slash 4. I've got a YouTube that shows where those lips lie on the Mona Lisa, and they're very difficult to pull because they do not want to give you a good image of the Mona Lisa. They want to hide what I have to show. Why? I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. I don't know why people got to be way so, something. Or or maybe they, they, they want to be the ones who said, I found it. I found it. He didn't find it. He didn't go to college. He don't got eyes like me and you. <laughs> I tell you, it's so sick out there. It's not even funny. We all know what the smell of money is. And I never did this for a drop of money. So... You can believe anything and everything of what you want. Uh, you're just going to hear the 100% truth. If I tell you that I love you guys, I love you. If I tell you that um, I need your help, <laughs> well, that's true. I do need your help. I need your friendship. I really love to have your friendship. Okay. So I want to tell you also, in the Mona Lisa, there's this skull. Okay. And out of that skull... I have found my painting. It's in my YouTubes. It's absolutely in my YouTubes. And I'm going to show you some proofs. 
some proofs. We have this five that comes out. <laughs> it's a symbol five. Excuse me. It's a symbol five, and out of that symbol five, you're going to see this symbol five, and it is um, this that's out of my painting. It's a five. It's also many other things, but this, we're, we're going to claw this the five today because it looks like a five, and it's what we're working on because Leonardo da Vinci's one plus one is never two. Okay, now back to the penny. The penny in your pocket, if you take a look at the top, the top of Lincoln's head, the top, not the side, the top, that's how big the eye, the actual eye is of my woman. And it has 3 million to 30 million images. It's outrageous. You can't even count them. It, it, it may even be m massive more. To, uh, excuse me, Leo. Yeah. It, I'm sure it is massive more because he uses it in numbers and layers and codes and sheets and it goes on and on and on and on between depth and lighting and shadows and builds and 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 him crocheting the, the, the canvas before he starts. So I'm going to get to where the, the, the piece is. Okay, This is the x-ray that's been pulled out of my painting. It's the Mona Lisa. It is. I'll show you. Here we go. The Mona Lisa side by side, as you see, just the larger portion that I put off. This was found in this area in my man, in this area up here. I'll show you again. So, anyway, th this is this is where it was found in my man. But it, she's everywhere in there. there I've come up with a, 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 a plenty. If you watch the uh, video, black and white. Uh, with Michael Jackson, you will know that uh, he changes his forms of um, characters in the painting. So that's how tiny, like I said, the eye is of my woman. Now to the pen and the paper. Now, now if you if you take a look at this, it's your signature. I want you to write your signature. Okay. I'll wait a second, and while uh, while you're doing that, this is spelt out Leonardo, and it actually spells out Leonardo da Vinci Sir Pierre. All what you see, you cannot see with the human eye. Okay, in my painting, absolutely cannot be seen with the human eye. That is not an accident with a brush. No way. You know, if you think that's an accident with a brush and cannot be seen with the human eye, please unsubscribe. Please, this is this is insane in the sense that, that we are watching. We I I have history here that is unbelievable, just absolutely so unbelievable. The signature of Leonardo da Vinci is in my painting, approximately in this area, okay, and that's the way he is at the tip of his toe area. So, why would somebody with that kind of talent hide something, even if they were to try to be a forger? Why would they copy something that was so microscopic that you cannot see with the human eye that would take 565 years later to um, show it? It's absurd. Nobody would spend uh, 500 and some odd years to... Um, try to uh, lie about a painting and there's no way because I have like 8,000 images and here's another one it's Sully this is the x-ray and out of that excuse me it's spelt Sully which is the same that I set up and wrote out for you plain that's what it is when it's blown up another of his lover Okay. Now, when you get back to the writing, you wrote your name. Now, write your name in block. And if you wrote it in block, write it in cursive over the top. Then I want you to write again over the top one more time of your name in what you did at uh, the first. So it's going to be like cursive, block, cursive, or block, 
recursive block. The reason why I want them over the top and over the top and over the top, I want you to look at it. This is the trick that Leo does. You have to do it in front of you. Okay. Now look <clears throat> at the top and you'll read your own name. You can you you can catch some of your own name out of that. It's very difficult. But you know what you wrote below. So study it and see if you can see your own name. That's what Leo does. He writes over the top and over the top and over the top his name, his lover's name, his friend's names, um, his lover's names. He and writes love and he I love you, I miss you, all kinds of stuff. And so this is another writing in which he has written Melzy, another lover. Soli was a lover, and he lived one year prior to Leonardo da Vinci's death, the one which we just showed you in the blue stand. And this is what it is when it's written out. Very difficult to read, but that's what it comes. But there's more to that, because if you take a look, he has his writing in here, along in here. And if you look at it, it actually looks like he's spelling L-E-O-N, and he's got an A upside down, Okay, and he's got an R upside down, and then he has this big fat D, and he has an O. He spells Melzy. Okay, and in one of the other YouTubes, it says, uh, "I love you in an innuendo," and here it is. I bet you this is what that's probably going to be as it, I, and this is supposed to represent either a heart, and this is supposed to represent the U. And that's just like looking at a license plate. I heart you. I love you. It's an innuendo. And that's what he does. A lot of his writings, people think it's just spelt out. Well, it's kind of like making a circle. A circle can be an O. And then out of that O, being an O, it can also be an A. As, oh, a lot of times he puts two dots and O's and a face in there, just like a smiley which can represent not only just an O, it can also represent a man. So it could be an A, or it could be an M, it could be an O. But then again, it also comes to be a total of 20 other different letters. That would be in another YouTube, maybe, one time, to try to explain that. After seven years of this type of work, you'll understand that I have gone to the depth of trying to figure out Leonardo da Vinci's works. Now, this is the pointing lady. The pointing lady, okay? And what I want to show you about this pointing lady is this. You see that five? That's a five. Turn sideways. That's what I'm going to be showing you. And I have it preset on another particular. Now, we have this same symbol on the x-ray of the Mona Lisa. The, we have a YouTube we combined uh, or we may have separated it. My editor's going to make the decision. And this is her face, and it goes all over, depending upon how you lay it, that he is hiding a five. And if you actually kind of look at it, it kind of has the symbols of how it can flow around, like the circle, like the circle. And it continues, because that's what he is. He gives a backwards S and a five. What do you get out of Sully? an S. What can you spell it backwards? A five. See, Leonardo da Vinci is a artist in code. would love to have him if we ever had a problem in code. Okay, now we're going to get to this. This is the five that's in the uh, pointing lady. And that is a sketching of Leonardo da Vinci's works. Now here's the five. I'm going to show you how they are side by side. They're twins. And the reason why you don't see this particular piece that kicks up in here, because it's done in dots. It's done in dots. So if I drew that out for you, which I was, I'm all set for it, but I don't need to. I, I am that certain that this is a Leonardo da Vinci's works. And you guys, I need you. I mean, I need you more than... Just like I want to call the angels that I wish that Jesus called the angels on the knee that I uh, that he could have called I 
can't remember, 150 angels, or it was some special number. I need you to even call one angel, because I'm sure one angel would do. And my editor, to me, is an angel, and she is um, pretty busy. I keep her pretty busy. Look at that. Boom. Okay. You can't ask for anything better. You can't. And you can see the dots, like I said, whoops. You can see the dots, and I wasn't going to overlay it, but you know, you can see the dots, how they flow. See, I just bumped it a little bit. Yeah, they, they flow. I just need to bump down one notch, and they flow within the deal. Because remember, Leonardo da Vinci makes his images move. He does. And so, listen, you know that I've showed you my heart into this business. I have over a thousand YouTubes, and out of those YouTubes, none are lying to you in any deceitful way, in any deceitful way. Not for money, nothing. If you want to know the funds that I get from YouTube, I don't think I hit past $5. It, I don't know how to do it. I can use somebody that can help me because I don't know about YouTube's process. And you have an email in there that you can send. It's under medionpassion at gmail.com. I need some help uh, to uh, get this out there. And I was never in it for money. I'm in it for the love of it. And um, I, I found the greatest love of it all and, and to um, try to explain that I, I, I uh, is a uh, very very difficult and um, beautiful pink uh, dress huh so with that in mind I'd like to uh, say would you would you guys um, watch YouTube uh, for kids it is a magnificent program uh, for protecting your children. Uh, you mothers and fathers are magnificent in your strength that I wish I had. Um, I don't know how you do it. And with that, I like to thank YouTube itself, big time. Um, they're just, um, well, they, they, they can break this code too. I mean, I know they're smart. They're, they, they, you don't, you just have to be persistent and use your heart and they use their heart and with that i like to say hey would you wash your hands social distance and wear a mask give me a thumbs up subscribe pass it on i need your help i am just spinning wheels with youtube as a video it's just a video and i don't want it to be a video i want it to be national news to go viral i want to sell this painting and put it on the shelf next to the Mona Lisa. And yes, I would love to be recognized as the founder and everything else that, that, that has hidden things in it. But i also like to say, would you please, okay, please say your prayers. And with that, may God bless the whole world, the whole universe, and the whole heavens. And uh, again, I love you guys. You have a safe night. You're doing a great job. Amen.